If you're not careful and you nook up out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has hurt you. Level 0. Survival difficulty, class 1. Level 0 is the first level of the back rooms, and the first level of many encounter. Description. Level 0 consists of randomly segmented rooms with a maddening mono-yellow wallpaper, moist carpet, and the electric buzz of fluorescent lights. The level spans on for approximately 600 million square miles of slightly variating rooms and hallways to be trapped in. The floor is covered in a moist, slightly wet carpet, and the lights make a distinct buzz. Rooms are often made out of thin walls of a faded yellow color, and always seem to be empty, lacking any features. Many rooms appear to be nearly identical in nature, and the level keeps its theme throughout itself. When the rooms are not looked at directly, they appear to change layout. Along with that, walls or even whole rooms can be seen shifting around the space. The repetitiveness of the level constantly drains Sandy, slowly getting to anyone in it. Rarely, on the walls, outlets can be seen, and can even be functional. Yet the quality of said outlets is often extremely low. While wandering on this level, you may see something, something that is not human. These are hounds. They are hunched over creatures on all fours that have rough gray skin. While they are rare, they are extremely dangerous on this level. Entrances and exits. Entrances. If you nook the better reality in the wrong places, you may find yourself in level zero. Other levels lead back to level zero. Those will be noted later. Exits. Walking in level zero for around about four days can result in the lights flickering rapidly. Once the lights reactivate, you will be in level one. Another way to exit this level is to find stairways and doors that also lead to level one. Barely. Drips and tears in the floor can lead to the basement. Level 1. Survival difficulty, class 1. Level 1 is the second level of the back rooms, and resembles empty expanses of rooms and hallways with tan brick walls and light brown rough concrete floors. Description. Level 1 is a large expanse of rooms and corridors of various sizes and lighting. The level is barren, with the only oddities being rare groups of pipes on the walls and ceiling. This level has a consistent, low-hanging fog that can make navigation through larger rooms harder than normal. The lights on this level are known to fail often and can go out for hours at a time. While it lights are on this level, it becomes extremely dangerous and entities roam. When the lights are on this level, you will be separated from anyone you are with. There are many entities in the dark. These consist of hounds, clumps, the corruption, which are not native, and smilers. While in the dark, it is advised to use any possible light sources you can find due to the fact that entities on this level are repellent to lights. Human contact is more common on this level, so much so that there are even colonies and outposts on this level. There is one main group in this level, the BNS, aka the Backwards Navigational System. They have mapped out a colony near a section of all one where lights fail the least, and the group has around 400 members. Note, the fluorescent light buzzing is still present in this level, but is greatly masked by the sound of low machinery rumbling. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Walking in level zero for around about four days can result in the lights flickering rapidly. Once the lights reactivate, you will be in level one. Another way to enter this level is to find stairs and doors in level zero that will lead to level one. Exits. It seems as exploring level one can lead to level two. The hallways will tighten around you, the walls will start to get darker, and pipes will start to line the walls. You will be in a long, narrow, swampy green hallway, lined with pipes. At this point, you are in... Level 2. Level 2. A.K.A. Maintenance Maze. Survival Difficulty. Class 2. Level 2 is the third level of the back rooms, and is the last level you can feasibly start out in. It is the most dangerous and unexplored level so far. Level 2 resembles long maintenance tunnels that span over miles. It is the last level in the traditional backrooms levels. Description Level 2 is the most dangerous and unexplored level so far. After getting far enough from one's entry point, the sound of machinery will go louder and louder, while the buzzing of fluorescent lights seems to grow softer. 
The hallways to the salt water thin and span on for miles. The temperature of this level varies often, from cold, bitter areas to scorching hot areas. If there was a default temperature for this level, it would be a cool 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The level consists of long maintenance tunnels that are covered with pipes and random support bars. These pipes don't always line the walls and can be seen in the middle of the tunnel. Old lights line the ceiling that emit heat. There are many random assets to this level, such as fans and random doors that lead to nowhere. The level has varying elevations, as there are random drops all around the level. It should be noted that these changes in elevations are never more than a foot and a half. There are wires covering the spaces in between the pipes and walls, and there is a thin layer of dirt and dust lining everything. When the dirt is stirred up, it can cause heavy irritations such as coughing and eye irritation. It is unknown where this dust comes from, as it is everywhere in the level. The level's lighting is not wired well, causing often light failures. There are many unknown creatures in this level that tend to come out during these blackouts. Entrances and Exits Entrances One enters level 2 by walking in level 1 for prolonged periods of time. After one of level 1's blackouts, there's a chance of a longer hallway appearing. This hallway, if traveled down, will start to get thin, and pipes will start appearing. After this, there is no going back, and entering level 2 will be inevitable. Exits Level 2 can be exited by finding gated off areas. If these areas' gates are unlocked, they lead to level 3. Level 3 Survival difficulty? Class 4. Level 3 is the fourth level of the back rooms, and seems to be an electrical station. Description Compared to the last three levels, Level 3 is most dangerous. Level 3 contains more entities than before, and has a dangerous environment. The level consists of utility halls filled with electrical components. The walls are yellow brick, and the ceiling is covered in pipes and wires. Yellowish lights are placed around the walls, and serve as the only light source. The floor is a smooth concrete, and is noticeably warm. Wires can be seen covering the walls and floor, and are very dangerous. These wires are high voltage, and can emit a lethal shock if a wanderer makes contact with them. The level has many entities that are acutely dangerous. These consist of hounds, smilers, the corruption, listeners, and stalkers. All the entities roam the level mindlessly and can be found almost anywhere. They are relatively easy to avoid, however, because they don't notice the wires and often step on them. Aside from the corruption and smilers, this will get rid of the entities. While it is not known for sure, it is thought that this level supplies power to a number of levels. This is only speculation, however, as a way to test it has not been found. There is a group on this level, the Collectors. This group is a small group that harvests pipe fluid and electrical parts on this level. It is unknown why they are doing this. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 3 can be entered by finding gates in level 2 that are unlocked. Alternatively, doors in level 3.1 that are unlocked can lead here. Exits Very rarely, gates or elevators can be found. These lead to level 4. Level 4 Survival Difficulty Class 1 Level 4 is the fifth level of the back rooms and is a large abandoned office building that lacks any furniture. It is the safest level as far and is a good spot to stop for food and water. Since it's one of the earlier levels, it is unknown when it was discovered. Description After finding a gate or elevator on level 3, you will be at an abandoned office. Level 4 it appears as an empty office with light brown carpet, white walls, and white fluorescent lighting. Doors are scattered around the office and lead to other rooms. Rarely, they can lead to staircases that lead to level 5. There are many windows throughout the building, but most of them have been completely blacked out. Any windows that have not been blacked out are considered traps and should be avoided at all costs. There are only two creatures on this level, the Smilers and the Corruption. It should be noted that these beings are very rare. Despite this lack of things, there are still vending machines on this level that hold an abundance of water and other foods. If they wander no clues through one of these vending machines, they will end up in level 6.5. There is a BNS community here. It is the main community on this level. They provide food, housing, and equipment for free to anyone who needs it. Other communities exist, but are not as large as the BNS community. 
It should be noted that the BNS still makes large efforts to send food and equipment to these communities, no matter the size or member count. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The only normal way one can enter level 4 permanently is through a gate found in level 3 that is unlocked. Exits. There are three main ways to leave this level. The first is to find staircases that lead to level 5. The second is to find fluorescent lights replaced by holes. These will lead to an area known as the in-between. The last way is a no-clip into a vending machine. This will lead to level 6.5. Level 5. Survival difficulty, class 2. Level 5 is the 6th level of the back rooms. When entered, a wanderer finds themselves in the hotel. But this level has another segment known as the boiler room, which can be entered after the mind has been subjected to buried decay. Description The hotel is made up of large groups of object-cluttered rooms. Out of the first ten levels, level five seems to be the most object-cluttered. Old 1930s decor covers all of the level. Along with that, the level is covered in cobwebs and dust. From an unknown source, 1930s music plays continuously. This music slowly distorts the further into the level one goes. Throughout the level, a dining rooms, hotel rooms, and large open rooms can be found. The dining room has long white and golden floors, and long dinner tables covered in random clutter. The hotel rooms are found in long hallways. Doors of the respective rooms are found. A wanderer can only open the first door they choose. The rest after this remain locked. The open rooms are found at the end of these hallways, and have a sign overhead reading, The Bliss. The room contains a single feature, a music player. In the center of Level 5's Bliss room, a single music player is found. The closer one gets to it, the more things distort. First the music glitches, then sight goes haywire. Once reached, the distortion will cease, and the boiler room surrounds. The boiler room is entirely free of entities, however, another threat is present by the sheer heat of the rooms, which will cause anyone to begin sweating profusely in mere seconds. The air is surrounded by steam, gears, and whistles, which overpower the music, broken only by the all-too-common malfunction. The boilers themselves have been rusted beyond repair and seething to the touch. Endless halls of steaming hot machinery are broken up by enormous pits which contain smaller individual rooms only across a rickety bridge. The pits are seemingly endless, and no one knows what lies at their bottom. Entrances and Exits Entrances so The staircase is found in level 4, and some doors in the lobby of level 150 are the only known ways to enter level 5. Exits once already in the boiler room, the wanderer's memory will begin to fade, including information as basic as their name. Soon, only vague recollections and concepts remain, at which point the level will grow progressively darker until the wanderer has a sudden moment of clarity where it all comes back. At this point, they will have been transported to level 6. Level 6, aka Shadows of Darkness. Survival difficulty, class 5. Level 6 is the 7th level of the back rooms, and is by far the most dangerous and unexplored out of the main 10. The level is thought to be mostly mentally dangerous to wanderers. Description Level 6 is different from the other levels, as it lacks almost all light. The level is made up of cold, empty rooms lacking many features. The level is quiet, devoid of any audio. Sight isn't something wanderers often have a luxury of on this level. While flashlights have been found to work, they normally fail after sight of the surroundings is made. All rooms are small and feel claustrophobic as well. Wanderers in this level swear entities are present, but they have never seen them. It is not known what entity or entities are actually present on level 6. Very few have escaped these encounters, as those who have them often end up taking their own lives. People who make it more than 48 hours in level 6 start to hallucinate even more, and feel tapping on the shoulders or hear walking from behind. Despite this, there are never any signs of anything actually causing this. 
and his thoughts all be in the head. Level 6 is a level that seems to let your mind make the creatures. And it is speculated that all entities on this level aren't even real. Well, the one behind you might be. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Level 6 has only been entered to level 5. Deep in the boiler, the music may cut. After this, the darkness appears ahead. Exits. There are three main ways to leave level 6. The first is to simply exit the darkness back into level 5. But if sight with the entrance is broken, it will disappear. The second way is to find a vending machine and use it. This leads to level 6.5. The last way is the most solid, but the most difficult. One has to travel in level 6 for days on end. Eventually, water will fill the room you are in. If the wanderer can hold their breath long enough, the water will lower, and you will be in level 7. Level 7, a.k.a. Flash Flood. Survival difficulty, class 3. Level 7 is the 8th level of the back rooms. It is made up of a long series of partially submerged houses across an infinite ocean. Description. In the houses of level 7, there is enormous clutter. The interiors are defined by a series of surreal paintings and walls that have grown moldy from the water lapping across them. At first, level 7 will come as a relief to any wanderer, despite the thick clumps of plant-like material and salty black water. At least the sun will shine, at least after days of wandering through level 6. But as any wanderer leads across tiled roofs and swims through still water, they will soon realize that they are not as safe as they first assumed. Usually, deep within the oceans of level 7, at any signs of life, the Leviathan will emerge from its deep water habitat on a hunt for prey. The Leviathan is the only known entity in level 7, but poses such a fundamental threat to the safety of any wanderers that it is advised to stay out of the water as much as possible. The Leviathan can be detected by a deep rumbling sound, an uncharacteristic disturbance of the usually eerily still water. However, if one is still in the water and sees these signs, it is already too late. Entrances and Exits Entrances The only way to enter level 7 is to wander for multiple days through level 6 without dying, until water slowly fills up the room. Submerging and re-emerging will lead the wanderers to level 7. Exits Rarely, instead of a house, wanderers will see a large salt cave. Entering to the mouth of these caves will have a wanderer finding themselves in level 8. Level 8, aka Creaking Caverns. Spell difficulty, class 4. Level 8 is the ninth level of the back rooms, and appears to be a large stalactite cave. This level is extremely difficult to travel in, and is infested with entities. Description Level 8 is a fairly dangerous level of the back rooms, and while entities are present in overwhelming numbers, they aren't the main threat. The layout of level 8 is unpredictable, and is acutely difficult to map out. Caves are deep and small in this level, some go straight up, others go straight down. All around the level, Water drips from the ceiling, and stalactites fall from the top. Many entities are present on level 8, but most are small in numbers. Smilers, hounds, the corruption, and spiders are the ones that make themselves most present on this level. Deeper in the level, most sound starts to cease, and the caves change. The caverns start to take on a circular shape, and water leaks out of the cracks in the caves. In the distance, large spiders may be seen. They are simply called Death Spiders, an attack if spotted. It is thought that there may be a queen on this level, yet it has never been seen. Out further on the level, lights can be seen. To the sides of caves, large open rectangular openings can be found. These openings are lit by spotlights and have minecart tracks on their floors. These areas are completely quiet and are devoid of spiders and most entities. The floors and walls are covered in thick layers of dust, choking anyone who kicks it up. The BNS has found that these mines are filled with rare and valuable materials and are setting up base in the mines. 
Entrances and exits. Entrances. Level 8 can be entered through three ways. First is to find a salt cave in level 7 and enter it. Second is by finding a cave in any level with a spotlight next to it. This leads to the mines at level 8. Last is through a rocky door in the center point. Exits. The only way to leave level 8 is by slowly growing tired. Any time after three days in the level, the wanderer will slowly grow more tired. Eventually, they will pass out. Upon reawakening, wanderers will find themselves on the streets of level 9.